and welcome to this video on Sensor Guard QA. Sensor Guard QA is a crucial tool for maintaining polished and professional translations. This app automatically detects and flags inappropriate language, ensuring your content remains suitable for all audiences. Let me show you how to implement it into your project. First, you need to have a Crowdin Enterprise account, as well as an existing Crowdin project. After that, we go to the Crowdin store and install Sensor Guard QA. After it has been installed, you need to configure it. Go to your organization settings, custom QA checks, scroll down to external QA checks, and find Sensor Guard QA. Click on it. Now you need to select an AI prompt. As you can see, I have no AI prompts available, so I will head to the AI section to enable the prompt. Now I click on the QA checks default prompt to configure it. Click Enable. I need to select a provider and a model. In case you're using OpenAI as a provider, it is recommended to use the newest version GPTO. And click Update. Now let's go back to our organization settings and select an AI prompt. Now let's go to our project and enable Sensor Guard QA in the project. Go to your project settings, quality assurance, scroll down and tick Sensor Guard QA. Important to mention, the behavior of this QA check is slightly different from the system ones. The warning option will always be selected here, so the QA check is done after the translations have been added respectively, the validation result may appear with a slight delay. Now let's see it at work. Let's go to the editor. I'm going to change a translation into an inappropriate word. And let's see what happens. And right away I receive a notification that this translation contains profanity, which is considered to be inappropriate in the context. And that's it, now you know how to use Sensor Guard QA to maintain clean and professional translations. Like this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about other useful features Crowdin has to offer. Thank you for watching!